The Enigma Variations of Edward Elgar is an eternal puzzle. It is a great enigma. And yet, at the same time, to me, it's not a big surprise. Edward Elgar is this composer who is commonly thought of as this hyper-imperialist, very, very grandiose and pompous English composer. And I just don't buy that. For me, he's a very vulnerable, very loving, very kind and fantastic and generous composer. And the Enigma Variations are these little vignettes of his friends. They're little images in musical terms. And he's poking fun at them. And even sort of addressing sometimes a harm that they have done to him. There's one movement where the, you'll hear the oboe going, ta 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 ta, ya ta ta ta. And it was his friend who had a stutter. And if you notice at the very end of the movement, you'll hear the ta 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 without a stutter. So he gives everybody a sense of grace. I mean, there's a, a dog, uh, there's a very rowdy American who shows up in this piece. And for me, I really fell in love with this music when I really got to understand who Elgar is. In a way, you could say that he is a composer for the people. A normal man, a great man capable of writing great music. And nobody thought he was going to be successful at what he was writing. They never thought he was going to amount to very much. And yet, he became one of the greatest living composers of his time. A legend in his own time. Most composers have to die become, before they become famous. But Elgar was loved by everybody. At the time in which the orchestra and I were exploring this music, we were performing other works of Elgar at the same time, trying to learn and go deeper on the aesthetic and ideas of this composer. He really requires every musician in the orchestra to play with their full heart and soul. And you'll hear no more of a moment of greater vulnerability and iconic music even than the middle movement known as Nimrod, a piece of music that is so sincere, so amorous, it's just music for great people. It's a music for everybody. Because that's how Elgar was. An everyday man who was just trying to give speech, words, music, art to the everyday person. I hope you enjoy.